presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, while Jungle Jim, Colo, and Lynn Chalmers were being led back to the Purple Triangle headquarters, Colo suddenly made a break for freedom and headed into the hills. In the meantime, the squadron of government bombing planes which were flying over Derek Bluger's camp landed, and their commander, General Yang Tsi, placed them at the disposal of the revolutionist leader. He also reported to Bluger that there were other deserters at Shanghai. Upon hearing this, Bluger sent Shanghai Lil and Lin Pu to enlist their services in the cause. When Jungle Jim was brought face to face with his captor, he tried to persuade him to abandon his plans, but Derek Bluger refused. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Now we continue our story. Jungle Jim boldly faces his captor, Derek Bluger. I thought you were a fool, Bluger. Now I'm convinced that you're stark mad. Fortunately, Bradley, I can afford to laugh off your puny insults. I am master here, as you will soon find out. No doubt. You're quite correct. There is no doubt about it. Smarter men than you have tried to stand in my way, and they're no longer among the living. So I've heard, Bluger, and I'm not the only one. The American embassy at Shanghai knows all about that, too. That's why they sent me up here. You might just as well have taken life easy back in your jungle. In fact, you might better have. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, I do. You had some crack-brained idea of walking into my headquarters here and politely asking me to accompany you back to Shanghai. You're going to find out it won't work. It looks that way, doesn't it? If I'd let myself investigate every red herring that's been waved in front of me, Bradley, I wouldn't be where I am at this moment. Quite right, Bluger. You'd now be safely behind bars. And that's where you're going right now. Yensing. Most high superior. Take our prisoner, Jim Bradley, to the detention quarters underground. Put his native companion down there, too. Excuse, please, most high superior. Captain of horsemen, very sorry, but black man escaped on the way here. A stupid fool! Put that captain in the irons at once. Send out a scout plane in charge of that new recruit. What's his name? Uh, Yang Si. Capture the native. At once, most high superior. Wait. Send Miss Chalmers in here while you're doing that. Yes, most high superior. Come you, this way. No. Bradley can stay here until you attend to the other things. Yes, most high superior. What are you going to do with uh, Lynn Chalmers? Oh, you're beginning to realize that I'm master here, eh? Well, don't get impatient. You will soon find out what I'm going to do with the girl. She served her purpose, Bluger. She decoyed me from hiding. You're going to let Lynn go, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to let her go to the same place I'm sending you, Jungle Jim Bradley. Where is that? I've got a sort of an annex for my guests. It's a little more private downstairs. No doubt the air is better. We won't have to share it with you. That's enough of that, Bradley. Ah, Miss Chalmers. What? Why, she's gagged and bound again. What's the meaning of this, Bluger? That's my affair. Now, see here, Miss Chalmers. You seem to have forgotten what I told you about trying any tricks on me. You warned your friend here that he'd walked into a trap. You were seen pointing out the horseman following you. Lucky that my men were close enough on your heels so that they captured him anyway. But I'm going to give you a sample of what you'd have gotten if Bradley had escaped. Take this! Oh. Oh. Why, you yellow dog, striking a defenseless woman out of the Keep back, Bradley, or I'll drill you! Insane! If you didn't have that gun, Bluger, I... Most high superior? Take Jungle Jim Bradley to his detention cell. His sense of chivalry seems to be getting the best of him. Yes, most high superior. Come, you. Keep your hands off Lynn Sharma's, Derek Bluger, or you'll answer to me. Derek Bluger answers to no man. As for punishing this girl, I haven't even started yet. In Shanghai, Lin Pu and Shanghai Lil are on their way to a rendezvous with the leader of the deserters whom Yang Tsi told them about. Down this way, Shanghai Lil. Are you sure, Lin Fu? Very sure. Have a dress written on this piece of paper. I can't say that I like this assignment. I didn't realize we'd have to come right into the heart of Shanghai. Oh, yes. Very good place for hiding. One always safer in crowd when not wishing to be discovered. That's all very well in detective movies, Lin Fu. I'm very much surprised at you, Shanghai Lil. 
you always crossing bridge before it is built. Who here on this street know us? It happens to be the one leading to the English mission. Wouldn't it be just too, too amusing if our friend, the Reverend Manley Chalmers, should walk right into us? Reverend Chalmers, I'm not thinking of same. No, I guess not. That shows you what comes of associating too much with Derek Bluger. It's catching this not thinking. So? Yes, so. Now, you've got the habit. I'll have to watch out or I'll be the next victim. I'm noticing not one thing you suggest ever happening, Shanghai Lil. You tell most high superior bombing planes, passenger planes, carry soldiers. I didn't say they weren't bombers. I said they mightn't be. Hmm. But mind occupied with fear of what uh, may happen, unable to solve problems already present... Now, much better we keep minds on meeting General Chan Hu. Okay, my slant-eyed companion. But while you keep your mind on Chan Hu, I'll keep my eye peeled for people we don't want to have see us. And here, eating house, what paper say we find General Chan Hu? Just a minute. Isn't that Fong Ki? Fong Ki, where is he? I cut out his heart. I gouge out his eyes, that traitor. He's up on the blood pressure, General. I guess I was mistaken. Anyway, the fellow disappeared so quickly, I only got a glimpse of him. Come on. In here. Here we are, Shanghai Li. Now we contact General Chan Hu. Well, you might just as well say, now we'll find the needle in the haystack. Why, there isn't a single uniform in the place. How can we recognize him? That problem already solved, Shanghai Li. Sent note telling Chan Hu I coming here with lady of your description. Oh. We will take table in corner. There. One table vacant. Come, Shanghai Lil. You will be interested in Chan Hu. Yes? He, what? He partly of your race. Had Chinese father, white mother. Oh. Eurasian. Yes. Uh, sit down here. We wait. Nothing more we can do. But then, Pooh, this table is in the corner opposite the door. Right so. Chan Hu, see, it's all plainer. I think we'd be better off in some other part of this joint. I've looked around and there's only one exit. The door we came in. Look, Shanghai Lil. Man getting up from table, coming this way. Must be Chan Hu. Good. And the quicker we meet him, the quicker we can get out of here. Unless my womanly intuition fails me again, it'll be healthier for us in the open air. Listen, Shanghai Lil, Most High Superior has ordered us to get this man on our side. Well? We must promise Chan Yu anything. Here he comes. Good afternoon. Have I the honor of addressing the Honorable Lin Pu? General Chan Yu? What? Names may be known when faces are not pretty defeated. <laughs> You knowing from note who Lady Companion is? Yes. How do you do? Usually pretty well. I'm not so sure about this time, though. So sorry. Shall we discuss business bringing us together? Without further delay, my friend. First state your position at present time. At present, I am deserter from Kwangtung province. Nanking official place price on my head. It is impossible for me to stay here. Also, it is impossible for me to go back to Kwangtung. <laughs> my friend, my superior wishing to know latest news from civil war mm. for very important reasons. The civil war is collapsing. Kwangtung is now left to Nanking. So, <laughs> my friend, you wish fighting? You wish power? For myself... Yes. Well spoken, my friend. How superior could use men like you. It's not so, Shanghai Li? Yes. Just a type. When do we start this fight? Presently, my friend. Presently. My superior now laying most careful plans. When all is ready, word will be passed to you. In meantime, rally as many as possible around the standard. What standard? The standard of the Purple Triangle. The Purple Triangle? Yes. I did not know that. Ah, you will work secretly here in Shanghai for the great cause? Most certainly. Many thanks for this opportunity. I will tell my companions, this is honor beyond words. Uh, 
we very glad having you on our side, General Chen Yu. And that's no lie. We certainly improve. Eh? Look who's come in. Reverend Chalmers, coming this way. I was sure that was Fong Ki I saw outside. Come on, Lin Pu, we've got to get out of here. Knock the table over so he can't catch us. Hello, Reverend. Sorry, we can't stay. That night, back in Derek Bluger's camp, Jungle Jim is surprised to be taken from his underground cell to the quarters of the Purple Triangle leader. Well, what do you want with me now, Bluger? So sorry to have disturbed your solitary privacy, but there's an old friend of yours here whom I wish to present. Say, what kind of a game is this? I have no old friends in China. No? You just step this way. Hello, Jim. Billy DeVrio. Surprised to see me, Jim? Well, what... What are you doing here? I'll tell you. Lil has come back to me. We're going to rule China side by side. Is this true, Lil? You heard what Derek said, didn't you? And to think I was fool enough to believe in you. To trust you as a friend. Remember, darling, all fair in love and war. And a woman takes both very seriously. Yeah. It looks like it. And now that you know where you stand, Bradley, you can go back to your cell and think things over. Most High Superior, radio message just received from Yangtze. Black man captured. Good. Poor Kolu. I wouldn't waste any sympathy on your servant if I were you, Bradley. You'll need plenty for yourself. Take him away, Yinsing. At once, Most High Superior. Come, you. Well, baby, did you get the look on Bradley's face when he saw you? Yes. I've never seen anybody so surprised in all my hectic life. You certainly told him off. Remember, Doc, all's fair in love and war. And a woman takes both very serious. <laughs> what a line. Yes? Hey, what are you looking so sour about? We've got the spy Jungle Jim Bradley, a prisoner. We've got 12 bombers added to our Air Force. And you and Lin Poo signed up Chen Hu's forces in Shanghai. And you're all ready to go now, Derek. Yes. Here's where we start the fireworks. Has the crucial moment for the beginning of Derek Bluger's revolution arrived? The adventures you have just heard were dramatized from full-color action pictures appearing in the Comic Weekly the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, which is distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the Big Comic Weekly, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's Judge Piffle in Room and Board, Jiggs and Maggie in Bringing Up Father, Skippy, the Cats and Yammer Kids, Barney Google, Toots and Casper, Flash Gordon, and many, many others. Don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>